I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you a very popular question on maximum minimum problems. The question here is, a survey done by Star newspaper reported that for a $15 monthly fee, they could obtain 2,000 new customers. It also reported that for every 50 cents decrease in the fee, they would obtain an additional 100 new customers. What is their maximum revenue? That's the question for you. Let's try to understand it. So we have a dollar amount against which we can have some customers. So we say the, the dollar amount and we say number of customers, right? So that is what we are going, going to relate. So if the dollar amount, which is the monthly fee in this case, is 15, then the customers are 2,000. It also reported that for every 50 cents decrease, right? That means if I decrease this amount, that is minus 0.15 dollars, which is, I mean, 0 0.50 dollars, I mean, 0 0.50. In that case, 100 new customers will be there. So we'll get 2000 plus 100. Every means this. For every decrease means if I have two times 50 cents decrease, in that case, number of customers will increase by two times 100. So in general, if we follow this pattern, so if from $15, I decrease this to n times n 15 cents, right? Then with that trend, the number of customers will really increase to n times 100. So that is the general situation, right? Now it says, what is their maximum revenue? Now what is revenue? So when you say revenue, revenue is the dollar amount times number of persons who are paying monthly fee, right? That's the returns you get. So it is all the dollars multiplied by all the numbers, product of these two. So in our case, for a general situation, revenue will be 15 minus, let me write this as 0.5n, is it okay? times 2000 plus 100n. Why did I write it like this? Mainly because whenever you're writing a polynomial or anything linear also, it's good to write the numbers before the variable, right? That's the whole idea. Okay, so that is the revenue. Now it says what is the maximum revenue. So when <coughs> maximum revenue, how could you find it? Well, one method is uh, we can do completing squares. Uh, you could graph and get it, okay? You could also use uh, from these factors, right? Zeros of factors. which will give you access and so the value of n you get an idea right so that is a very good method to do so while completing the squares is we have to expand this and then do completing the squares let me solve using factors so the method which i'm sharing with you is to use the factors themselves since we have the equation in factored form is it okay so the revenue is equals to 15 minus 0.5n times 2000 plus 100n. Now, when are these zeros? So this will be zero when, and when will this be zero? That's the whole idea. So let's equate this to zero. We have 15 minus 0.5n, when will this be zero? This will be 0, that means 15 equals to 0.5n or n is equals to 15 divided by 0.5, I mean, 
0 0.5, right? So, which is 30, correct? 30. So, and 0 0.5 is half, so just multiply it by 2. Okay. When is the other factor 0? Half of 30 is 0, right? So, 15 minus 15 will make it 0. Now, to make this 0, so we have 2000 plus 100n equals to 0. So, we can say 100n equals to minus 2000 or n is equals to minus 2000 divided by 100, which gives you the value of minus 20. Is it okay? So, we get n value for zeros at 30 and 20. Right? If you multiply, you'll see n square is negative. So, it's a parabola, which is kind of uh, opening downwards. Let's understand the situation. So, it's kind of a parabola, which is opening downwards. Is it okay? And therefore, we are having a maximum. And uh, the two zeros, which we just figure out, are at uh, minus 20 and at 30. So, this is as minus 20. The other one is at 30. Maximum will be right in the middle, right? So, so right in the middle is n equals to minus 20 plus 30 divided by 2, which is 5, correct? Okay? So, right in the middle at n equals to 5, we have a maximum. Do you see that part? So, what is their maximum revenue? Their maximum revenue will come when n is 5, okay? So, you can substitute 5 in this equation and find the maximum revenue, correct? So, that is how it could be solved. At times, we could also find what is their cost for maximum revenue or how many customers will be there. All that can be answered, right? So, let's write down n is 5 here and find. So, revenue will be equals to 15 minus 0 0.5 times 5 and everything into 2000 plus 100 times 5. Is it okay? So, which is 500. Correct. Let's calculate this value. So, 0.5 times 5 is 250, right? $2.50. So, we have 15 minus 0.5 times 5. This is, you can see, 1250. So, the cost here is, this cost in dollars, is 1250. I'm just writing separately. Right? So, this will get multiplied by the other number. So, let me, which is 2500. Correct? So, let me multiply this by 2500 to get the revenue. So, when you multiply these two quantities, you get revenue equals to $31,250. Is it okay? So, that is your answer. So, we can write down the answer here as in dollars $31,250. Is it okay? So, that is how you could actually solve it. Of course, you can apply distributed property, get the quadratic equation, do completing the squares and also solve it. That's fine. But this is an alternate method. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.